So when and not if. Not when, but if. Those who have eternal life by knowing that will ask, will warn, not counting the cost, will ask the other people. Those that have eternal life would ask those eternal souls, Sir, do you have eternal life? You see, we, when we know we have that, when we know, we, we can't stop that. Knowing what we know. And the question was asked to Jesus, what what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Now, if people have to ask you, following the question, which is the most important question, with the most important answer, what is more important than the eternity awaiting us all? What shall I do to inherit this eternal life? And Jesus said, It's worthwhile to add that after Jesus' response that there was two responses to what Jesus said next. As it is today when his word comes forth. And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments, Jesus said. You know it. Even those that deny it, know it. For God has written it on our hearts. You know the commandments, Jesus said. You know. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Honor your mother and your father. You know. And the response of man to the Lord is this. What you just said, Lord, I do these things. All these things I have kept from my youth. Kinds of make you think about many that stands before the Lord and say, Lord, Lord, but I have, I have done what you asked. Like this man that said to the Lord, all these things that you just said. All these things. And Jesus hears us. As Jesus heard him here, when Jesus heard this, he said to him, <coughs> There's one thing, Jesus said, just one thing, the deciding factor. Just one thing, 
that you still lack? Just one thing, man. Come on, people say. Sell all that you possess and distribute it to the poor. And you shall have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. Just this one thing Jesus said. You say so many things that you do. And everybody around you praises you. What a man of God. What a woman of God. One thing you still lack that. Let's test that. Let's, let's go to who you really are. To your core. Which no man can see. Which we can hide. That's what Jesus says. Let me look at you, sir or ma'am. That person that nobody knows. That person that he knows. This one thing. This one thing. One thing, Jesus said. One thing. Don't bother. Don't bother. Don't bother giving me lip service. Don't bother trying to clean your own garments. Don't bother with your beautiful Bibles. Don't bother if you do not do this one thing. People listen to this and they think, yeah, well, that's what you say. That's not what I say. It's what God says. And what we do with that. You, but you, but you can, but you, but them, but them as much as you want. The question is on the table for each of us this morning. One thing. And distribute it to the poor and you shall have treasure in heaven. And come follow me. Invest in me, says Jesus. I'm not. It's, a, it's an unbeatable investment. If we truly believe that he lives. If we truly believe that he is the only savior. The way, the truth, and the light. And without Him, you can talk the talk, even walk in places. But you will end up in hell, Jesus said. And you shall have treasure in heaven. I have written an inheritance for you. Trust me. When you get to that point. Where you are tested by the Lord. With your lust. With your covetedness. With unbelief. The Lord reveals to you where you truly are. You can run up and down to men. But if you do not end up with the Lord, you will seem to be on a way that it seems right, but it's not. Ask God. Ask God. Don't tell people you have a zeal for truth. Don't. Because the truth ends with God. Thank the Lord for that. Thank the Lord. And you shall have treasure in heaven. But many say no. I want my inheritance now. I, I want it now. I'll save some for heaven. 
but I want to spend it now. I'll claim it all in the name of Jesus now. I lay my hands on that car. I lay my hands on that woman. I lay my hands on that man. And I say to them, this must be of God. And the people clap hands because you have witnessed of the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you this. It is not of God because you have not tested the Spirit. Because in your heart, you do not believe that the revelation of God is the word of God. You don't. You throw his words behind you. We do that. We forget God when it suits us. One thing many, many, many will lack on that day. Many will lack the one thing. Many will lack the one thing. But God, but God, but God. Because you see, when Jesus said these things to the people, the people like today when they hear the word preached, there's two responses. They keep quiet. They walk away from Jesus. That's not my Jesus. You are right, sir. Because Satan is an imitator of Jesus. Do you not know? Turn back. And few will heed to the word of the Lord and say, Lord, who, who can be saved then? It reads here in verse 23, but when he, they heard this from Jesus, they said to Jesus, Jesus, what? no ways, brother. I, who can be saved? Lord Jesus, if that is Man, if this oak can't be saved, then we're in deep trouble. Who can be saved then? Asked the disciples. A lot of people now hope on nothingness. They hope that when they die, they will know nothing. The question was asked to Arnold Schwarzenegger, the action movie star, the bodybuilder. They asked him a question in an interview, and they said, Mr. Schwarzenegger, what do you think happens when we die? Because this is the question of man that they're not willing to truly ask, and they avoid it. Hop, skip, and jump. Don't talk to man about death. That's negative. Don't be negative. Be positive. Mr. Schwarzenegger, what happens to us when we die? And Mr. Schwarzenegger said this. In, you die, you are six feet under. And that's the end of you. And anybody that tells you something else is a bleeping fool. Well, I say this morning, Mr. Schwarzenegger, <laughs> somebody else did say something contradictory to what you said. But I dare not call him a fool. For he said this. We all die today. Why? Why do we die? Why do our bodies die? Why does it decay? Because God said it would. Now, each of us is an eternal being aimed for eternity. If you can start there, 
convince your intellectual pragmatic mind that that is a fact, we can move on. Eternity. So it's death and eternity. Hmm. Well, maybe I just go into nothingness. I'm not conscious. Oh, you are. If you believe that this is the word of God, because God said this. He said this. That to each man, death. Do you believe that? And then the judgment. Do we believe that? The eschatology of us as individuals. Well, when Jesus spoke of Lazarus that died and the rich other man that died, we read that Lazarus was taken into the bosom of Abraham, but the rich man, or whoever he was, was fully aware that he was in hell and in torment and desperate to get people to go and warn others because, my friend, when we enter into eternity, we can't come back. Did we? Do we know that? But God, and a lot of people this morning, but I, but I, but God, even, but God, but God, but God, but God, but God, but God. For oh God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And so many forget verse 15 before this, and verse 15 reads, So that whoever believes, believes will in have eternal, will in him have eternal life. Out of the mouth of a child. And here the Lord says, many will think they believe when they don't. But God sent His only Son. But God, because I, I cannot do what Jesus is asking. I, in my flesh, Dion, no ways, bro. No ways. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know why? You know why? My heart. My mind. Mm -mm. So that whomever believes. And God will give you a new heart. A new mind. He will give it. But you see, as with the rich young man, oh, how angry the rich get. Oh. You know, the poor has the same problem. But anyway, I digress. One thing you still lack. Do you still lack that one thing? And stop asking others. Lord, do I lack that one thing. Show me, Lord. And Jesus did so many times. Because you can have everything and profess many things and be lifted by man. But one thing you still lacking. Where is your treasure? The Bible says, where your heart is, is your treasure. The Bible says, God says, that the kingdom of heaven is like a man. 
that has searched and found it. And because of what he found, he <sighs> we all know that, what he did. God promised that you will find him. He, he did. He did. He said that if you seek me, with what? With all your heart, mind and strength, you will find me. Now ask me this, or answer me this, answer, ask yourself this this morning. Have you found him? You might still be seeking. Are you seeking with everything you have and have you found it yet? Or have you stopped short and found an alternative? Or did somebody tell you you're fine when you're not? And when you hear the word of God, you spit at it. And you scoff at it. And you cannot endure it. And you get angry. Oh, but you have a zeal for truth. But when the word challenges you, 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 you get angry. Really? Can't handle one passage, can you? God's word does not change. It doesn't change. If you're going to do it your way, you will die. You will die. But he said, Jesus said, because the oaks here said, no ways, man. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. How's this now? We are good Christians, man. Come on. Have you put your hope in him? No, guys. Uh-uh. Near. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's the feel. It's too much, Lord. Nah. Who can do that? Shut up. Shut up. No. No ways. No ways. No ways. No ways. Mm-mm. 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 No. 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 We, we, we don't want that Jesus, man. We don't want this guy. Really? Really, you're telling me that all the money I'm giving out and all the, I, I go to hospitals and pray and I, uh, come on, man. You're telling me I'm going to hell if I don't give him this one thing he's asking. Or oh, Dion, is this your opinion? Is this what you say, Dion? Is this what you say? I say, no, I didn't say that. And they go, oh, thank God said it. Huh? But he said, the things that are impossible for people are possible with God. What you and me are withholding from what God is requiring of you is impossible because we are in the flesh. Whether you like to hear that or not. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So that we can know. Whatever God asks of us and we say it's impossible. I love her, him, this, that. It's because in the flesh, walking in the flesh, it is impossible to please God. But hallelujah, it is possible for God. Now, let me say this. Jesus and the word of God really are so descriptive of his children. Really. 
analytically descriptive of what to expect, how, what, who, when, ma, that you can actually draw a picture. And, and, and to say, but there are so missing Christians. Yes, there are. We need to draw a picture to them this morning, according to God's word. Once I was lost, and now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. The faith of the dead is in themselves. And the faith of the Lord is not that I can do it, but that He will do it. And there is a big, big difference. Even Satan quotes scripture and deceive many. Even the demons know Jesus, the Holy One, and they fear Him. For God will require of us that he crushed his own son so that we may have a way to be redeemed and blood washed and rebirth is the beginning of a way justified, sanctified, glorified oh I will change I tell you because he promised me I will he promised me I will. In that moment, I will be changed. Those in him will be changed. And we will see him as he is. And here, on this way of sanctification, we have been given the interpreter, the comforter, the Holy Spirit, which is God. So that we may know and when we truly know nothing will stop us warning others nothing even if it cost us everything we've stopped counting the cost to ourselves we've become fools but i say to you this morning we are all fools the question is whose fool are you whose slave are you? For whilst you have breath, you can truly call upon the name of Jesus. But no, no, now, so that you may know, and no man will stand before him that day without an excuse.